Now, WGEL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning. It is 618. The National Weather Service this morning has issued a winter storm watch for the counties lit up in white. Those are for our westernmost counties where about three to six inches of snow is likely according to the National Weather Service with a couple of tenths of an inch of ice. So that's where the worst weather will be, if you will. Uh, the rest of the area might go under a winter weather advisory later today, so we'll keep you updated. Here's our News 8 Storm Team forecast today. The calm before the storm. We'll see some high clouds around this morning, brisk cold conditions with the breeze at Feels like it's in the 20s out there. This afternoon, partly sunny, breezy and cold, highs near 40. And this evening, diminishing winds, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures falling to the 30s. Overnight, I think we slip into the 20s. That's bad news for a storm sneaking up the East Coast tomorrow. We'll see mostly cloudy skies overnight. Tomorrow morning, we start in the 20s, and as low pressure moves our way, precipitation initially will begin as light to moderate snow. So I think we get several hours of snow tomorrow, beginning after 8 a.m., and then we'll see sleet then freezing rain, then rain as the column of the atmosphere warms through the afternoon. So we get the whole nine yards thrown at us tomorrow, starting with snow, ending as rain by evening. Here's the currents right now. We are in the 30s. If the winds were calm, we'd be a lot colder. And also if the sky were clear, we'd be a lot colder. But we have two things acting against us today. Some high clouds moving overhead, breezy conditions helping to keep temperatures in the 30s. Let's check out the bigger picture. Low pressure down to the south. This is our storm system developing, churning for tomorrow. It will move up the east coast, spreading precipitation our way between the hours of 8 and 10 a.m. to start from south to north. So let me show you that on the predictor. Today, no worries. We're good to go. We have high pressure in control. We'll have a dry day with some filtered sunshine. Tomorrow morning, I think the morning commute can squeeze in A-OK, -okay, but shortly thereafter, I think 8 to 10, that's when the snow will be moving in. After lunchtime, we start to see some sleet mixing in south of the turnpike. That sleet then changes to rain by evening, and all of that wet weather moves farther north as the day progresses. So areas that stay with snow the longest would be north of I-80. Farther south, you get the whole mixed bag here, starting with snow and ending with rain within a period of about 12 hours or less. Now, as we head into Friday, rain wraps up in the morning. There could be a few wet snowflakes on the backside of that storm system. But after that, we're in for a dry and quiet weekend. Here's a look at our expected snow accumulations. No changes to our map here. One to three inches for all of our major cities. Hopefully most of that's on the grass. If it falls heavily enough, I wouldn't be surprised to see it starting to stick on the roads tomorrow morning. Uh, but then once we get into the mix with the sleet and the freezing rain and the rain, conditions should improve on the roads by evening. But there's a look at a trace of ice to a tenth of an inch of ice around the area for tomorrow. Here's a seven-day forecast. After we get through tomorrow, things quiet down nicely. And hey, we have the big Thanksgiving giving travel week next sure. week, right? We, do. we need to keep it quiet around here, and I think that's the way it's going to stay. Okay. Yeah, big travel day coming up. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Christine, thank you.